Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're watching a karate combat super fight. I think pretty much in any promotion this is a super fight. We have Joe Schilling, 40 years old, making his debut in karate combat. But former, I mean, man, this guy's done so much. <laughs> Just former WBC champion, um, former glory star. We have Luke Rockhold, who is former UFC champion. And these guys are fighting at 195 pounds, so above the regular weight class, 185, which they used to fight at. They probably both like the 10 pounds extra. I heard Rockhold was a big fan of not having to make that big weight cut. I just think overall this is a fantastic fight. We're going to have the somewhat more karate style of Rockhold versus Joe Schilling, who has that kickboxing style in the past. Maybe we'll see if he makes any adjustments. They both hit like trucks, but Schilling in particular was such a hard striker with his hands. It'll be interesting to see how this fight plays out. Different glove size for Joe Schilling. As far as I remember, he's been very unactive the last four or five years. Little takedown there. I don't think that was a legal takedown. Kicks to the leg have to be below knee height. We're supposed to be targeting the calf. You're not allowed single or double leg takedowns within karate combat. The pit wall is such an interesting new element of fight sports, which you have to figure out. I don't think a lot of fighters have had the ability to train it just because nobody really has a pit to actually get into. So you have to kind of get there, move around, and on the fly, see what you can come up with. Relatively slow start. Haven't seen Joe bomb any big hand combos, which I would expect he'll get to. That left round kick of Rockhold has always been something special. He shoots it up there really fast. He has a great Brazilian kick as well. This event in Dubai, I was actually supposed to be fighting on this card, but ended up moving to a later date. It's really that left round kick of Rockhold so far that is landing at least, I mean, off the guard, so not landing like actual damage, but it's really the only offensive thing of note so far. A slower fight than I would have expected. I thought Joe would be coming a little bit heavier with the hands, but he's been, he's been out of competition for a while, so you never know. It's maybe a little gun shy. He's definitely stalking, putting the pressure on. We got Rockhold circling around. I would assume going into this fight, the key would be Joe getting his hands going, putting good pressure on. Right now, he's just a step behind. He blocks the left round kick, but he's not getting any counters back. So he's either got to lead or he's got to start countering all these kicks. And that's the end of round number one. Not the way I would have expected it to go. Rockhold definitely taken that round just based off round kick volume. Nothing of note landing, but still, if one guy throws, you know, 30 round kicks or, you know, 15 round kicks and a few punches here and there and the other guy doesn't really do anything, well, obviously we know who won. Luke Rockhold, as far as I can remember, his last fight was in the Bare Knuckle Boxing Organization. And he had a, a, a good performance up to the point where Mike Perry started landing, and then he just didn't seem to want to be involved. Bare Knuckle just seems like it's a pretty brutal thing to put yourself through if you've never been hit with a Bare Knuckle before. 
Joe Schilling definitely looks really big. Let's see if he can get anything going now, Joe. Not falling behind. Kind of missed with that angle there. What is happening? Looked like some good pressure from Joe finally. He's pushing forward. Need some sort of answer for that round kick. I think just very simply a counter. Every time he throws, counter. Joe stops, says, let's stand and fight. Stop moving away. There's a little bit of kickboxing there because he went above the knee. I do hope that karate combat starts including low kicks to the thigh very soon. It's an odd rule set to eliminate it. And now that they're including more fighters, guys from the UFC, guys like Joe from Glory, myself, when we start having people who are not you know, karate fighters anymore, I think adding the low kicks just makes sense. If you're going to strictly have karate guys and you're just like, oh, well, none of our karate guys are throwing them, that's fine. But when you really think about karate and you think about karate styles like Yoshikai or Kyokushin, there is a lot of low kicks. And that's another reason it should be included. I'll take down there, this ref is... He's stopping the action very, very quick. I feel like a lot of the refs still don't really understand the rules that we are given as fighters. It must be hard when you're a referee who probably spends all your time doing MMA and you get for, you know, once every three months uh, a little gig within karate combat with completely different rules. I'm not sure if they still have the five second rule on the ground or if it'll just keep going. They're also not supposed to hammer fist from the ground, which Rockhold did there. You're only allowed to strike with the glove portion of, of, of the fist. All these things to keep in mind, but if the ref's not warning you, you might as well keep doing stuff that's not technically allowed because you always get a warning. That would have been an opportune moment for a little leg sweep there. So the southpaw versus orthodox, when you're throwing low kicks to the calf, it doesn't work quite as well because, yeah, Joe landed a kick, if you want to call it that, but it would have just gone against shin. You just end up kicking shin against shin for the most part. Ooh, Joe looking a little tired there. He's not even getting on his stool. We got some some highlights here. Ooh, that was a nice cross. Yeah, that would not have been allowed. Luke Rockhold got a, a bit of a bent nose now. I wonder if that was from, I don't imagine that was from that one cross there. Maybe when he fought Mike Perry, his nose got busted up. Here we go into the third round. One of the things I've heard from the people in karate combat who are watching, they love being on the side of the pit. They said it feels like you're actually like in there with the fighters. Rockhold does a, a really nice job of faking. They fake that front kick and threw that punch right down the middle. I don't think either of these guys have great takedowns, so you can see they're in positions where it's possible to engage uh, or try for a takedown, like even right here, but not too much happening.
Rockhold definitely has taken the first 30 seconds of this round. And Joe's got to start putting some combos together because he landed landed a good shot in the last round. He has the capacity. Good when he does that. See, he has the capacity to be very dangerous. Hard when you have an opponent who's backing up constantly, catching angles, but really he should continue with that pressure and try to get Rockhold leaning against the edge of the pit. Oh man, he threw that punch hard there. Oh, nice up kick from Joe. Both fighters look tired, <laughs> very tired. They also, oh, I mean, in particular Joe, but Rockhold also looks fairly large. A lot of muscle. Whoa! That was a good counter off the right. That's got to be a stop. That's it. Wow. We got a replay of that. Not sure what Schilling did there, just walked in. He's a tough dude. I've seen him taking some hard shots. I'm surprised that one punch would put him down that that fast. It could partially be like he just looks flat out winded. I'd love to see a replay of that. Let's see if we're going to get it. Here we go. Stepped in with the fake. Oh, that was a big one. Didn't have his hands posted up at head level as he did that fake. And doesn't look like Rockhold landed with the actual soft portion of the glove either, which is going to make it that much more damaging. It'll be interesting to see now that they're bringing in some talent from outside the karate world. Former UFC champion. How long until this guy becomes the karate combat champion? Title shot probably fairly soon. All right, guys, let's call it there. Thanks for joining today. See you back here soon for another video.